Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Math. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to find the least common multiple between two numbers. I'm going to show you. It's easy. Stay with me. Okay, so here is today's question. It's going to be, how do we find the lowest common multiple of two numbers? And what we have to first do is cover what a multiple is. So a multiple is a number that we can get by multiplying. So if you have a hard time remembering multiple and factor, just always use the word multiple to get multiply. So a multiple of 5 would be 10 and 20 and 40. And then obviously, when you think of factors, the numbers go lower. So the factors of 5 would be 1 and 5. So it is a common thing to get these mixed up. So basically, when we're looking for um, the lowest common multiple of 24 and 20, if I can put it in simplest terms here, it would be what is the smallest number that has 24 and 20 as a factor? So this number is going to be quite large because we're multiplying 24 and 20 to get this number. So it's going to obviously be bigger than 24 and 20. So here is how I would find out this lowest common multiple. And if you need to, at the end of this video, or you can check the description, I'll leave you a link to how, how to prime factor a number. But we're basically going to find out this number by prime factoring 24 and 20 to get this lowest common multiple. So let's go for it. Even if you didn't watch the previous video, I think I can pretty much show you how to prime factor just right here. So when we prime factor, we're basically going to factor out each number to find out which prime numbers multiply to make up this number. Let me show you. So it doesn't really matter how you solve this or which factors you use, but let's just go ahead and let's just go 12 times 2. So 2 times 12 equals 24. And what I'm basically going to do is circle all the prime numbers, and then I'll show you how, when we get our answer, how it's going to give us this lowest common multiple. So 2 is prime, so I'm going to circle that. And then let's factor out the 12. That would be 2 times 6. So 2 is prime. I'm going to circle that. And then to multiply to give me 6, that would be 2 times 3, like so. And then I'm going to circle the 2, and I'm going to circle the 3. So what I just did is I factored out 24 to get all prime numbers. Basically, when I multiply these prime numbers, I'll get 24. So let's go ahead and go over the answer. 2 times 2 times 2, which would be 2 to the third power or 8, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and then I have 1, 3. Okay, so this is, hold on, I'm not, I haven't gotten the lowest common multiple yet. I'm going to factor out this 20, and then I'm going to show you how we take both answers to get this number. But let's just save this until we factor out the 20. So let's go to the 20. Um, what two factors multiplied give me 20? I can do 5 times 4. I'm going to circle the 5 because 5 is prime. And then factoring out the 4, I get 2 times 2 is 4. Like that. Okay, so if I'm going to write the answer like I did over here, I have two twos, so that would be 2 to the second power times, and then 5. Okay, now I know what you're saying. Mr. You know, you haven't given me any answer yet on what is the lowest common multiple of these two numbers. That's where we're getting to right now. Okay, so here is how we do this. I'm going to just focus in on these two answers because these two answers are going to help us get this answer. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the lowest number. We have a base number of 2. But what we want to do is we want to grab the highest one or the one that's worth the most, or the one that has the greatest value, which would be 2 to the third. 2 to the third is bigger than 2 to the second power. So we're basically going to be taking this 2 to the third. 
when I used to teach math, I used to tell my students, it's kind of like we're picking teams and, you know, we're picking football teams. I'm going to grab the biggest person to play on my team. Sorry, I'm not picking the smallest one. So the two squared ends up getting basically um, overpowered by this two to the third. And then we'll just go to the next number. The next number I see um, in value is the three. And that's crossed off, thank you. And then I have that last five. Okay, so here is the answer to what is the lowest common multiple of 24 and 20. It's going to be whatever the answer to this is. So let's go ahead and solve it. Two, and I'll write this out if you guys are having a hard time with exponents. So two to the third power is basically two times two times two, which is eight. Eight times, and then we'll just drop this three. Eight times three is 24. And then multiplying it by that last five, here we go. And the greatest, I'm sorry, the lowest common multiple of 24 and 20 is 120. And I know you're right. Woo, that took a lot of work to solve that. Hopefully your teacher's not giving you 50 of these to solve. Hopefully they're just giving you a handful of these and, you know, I don't know how, if they're asking you to do factor trees to solve this, but uh, this is how you can use factor trees and prime factorization to find out the lowest common multiple. So if you just want me to, before we quit today, want me to check this, I'll check it. So 24 times 5 is 120. It's just to prove that we can get 120. And then I think you guys know that 620s will also give us 120. So that's just to prove that 120 is the lowest common multiple. Okay, guys, hopefully that was simple enough. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Math. I'll see you in my next video.